Hello everybody, my name is Sirk and welcome back to uh, the Flight of the Owls server, our custom modded server. And I am so sick of the planes. These guys are crazy. These crickets and the butterflies. They're not quite as bad now, they're all over there. But I came back one time and actually it was... It was like right after just going to my house and coming back. There's just crickets like all over in my boat. <laughs> and all around and it was ridiculous. So ridiculous. I'm never building in the plains again. It's such a terrible place. Uh, I don't know how to like turn it down either. Those guys are from uh, Animals Plus mod. And as far as I can tell, like the Animals Plus mod doesn't even have a config. I haven't found it. I know I looked for it a couple times. So I don't know what's going on there. But anyways, doesn't matter. Today, we're going to be working on our boat some more. And this is what I have done so far. I like it a lot. I got some uh, some blocks chosen. This is uh, um, it's very similar to just a normal spruce wood, but it's a little bit smoother than uh, just a normal plank. And then we have these like bands going across these uh, ribs. I guess they'd kind of be uh, for the boat. Uh, yeah, I like the way it's looking. We got some railings going along the outside. It's uh, the shape of this boat isn't amazing. I'd almost like to round this back park part off a little bit, but uh, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I, I, I don't really want to mess with it too much. I'm just going to leave it. It's fine the way it is. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is, uh, we got the deck here. We have uh, a mast. This is like the main mast. And then this is the, the I don't know, the... <laughs> The bow mast, the port, the front mast. I don't know what it's called. I should really, I should really learn t nautical terms so that I can sound intelligent while I uh, build boats. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we have a, a front mast up there. We have a staircase going down into uh, the the belly of the ship, I guess. Down here, we got the mast going all the way through. Very important. That's what you want. You want good structural integrity. <clears throat> And back here we have a little cabin. I'll have to put a door here. I don't have one at the moment. But uh, we can store some things in there. Maybe put a bed in there. And of course we have our helm up here on the upper deck. Or whatever you'd like to call it. Yes. <laughs> so, that's what we have. The The actual boat part is fairly done. Uh, there's a few things I'd like to do. I mean, I'd like to decorate around. Again, do some stuff in here. Put a bed in some maybe some storage um, we could maybe put some storage down here or just put some decorations put like crates around I think would be kind of cool uh, and also since this is an airship you know we have to be able to to move forward uh, and we're not gonna have sails uh, so I'd almost like to put some sort of wings off the uh, off the side or like have some arms with uh, some propellers. <clears throat> I think we could do something that looks kind of cool. But right now, I want to focus on the actual balloon part, the blimp. And, uh, you know, you notice we have these masts here. You know, masts are for holding up sails. Um, but we're not going to be holding up any sails. You know, it doesn't really make sense to have these. But I thought it'd be kind of cool uh, for this boat, instead of making just like... Um, Making this out to be just like a, a standard airship. I mean, it's already, it looks very much like a boat. It's not very, uh, it's very much like a just a nautical boat. It's not really uh, designed at all for going in the air. Like, I, I've looked up a lot of uh, pictures of airships. And uh, there's a lot of interesting, you know, concepts and designs out there. And uh, not a lot of them just look like this, where, where it's just a normal boat. And so what I thought is maybe, uh, maybe for this boat, this boat was a nautical boat and it was kind of retrofitted with a balloon. So they, they took, they cut off the mast. We might even cut this off like one block here. And instead of using that to hold up sails, we'll use this as an anchor point. And actually, I think I will have that one dollar. We'll use this as an anchor point. One of the anchor points. You know, this could be like a main anchor point for the balloon. Since it's already a big structural piece, it's tied into like the spine of the boat. Uh, it's very structural, stru structurally attached. So that could be like the main anchor point, and we can use this as an anchor point. Uh, and then we'll have some other ones, like we'll, we'll have it attached to the sides as well to keep it nice and stable. 
but yeah, that that's kind of the plan right now. <clears throat> so, uh, what we're going to do, in order to actually make the blimp, uh, I want to do something that will hopefully work out really nicely. Let's see, we're going to need a lever. And, whoops, that didn't work. Let's do that again. Get the lever. Now, is that a good height? <clears throat> that might be too high. Where do we want the center of the uh, the balloon? We probably want the bottom to be right about there. Let's turn hover on. That would be a little bit easier. We want the bottom to be, like, right about there. And the top maybe up there. So if we dig this down, like, two or three blocks, I think would be good. We can try it out. Uh, let's try it out right here. So I have this enhanced building guide. This is from Open Blocks, and it is amazing. Uh, it's not quite nighttime. That's good. <clears throat> so with this thing, you got to power it. Uh, so we'll just power the block underneath it, and voila, we have a thing. We have a, a guide for uh, a sphere. Right now it's a sphere. We can change it to whoops. We can change it to uh, different shapes. Let's get an open hand just so we don't mess things up. Uh, there we have a planes. What what is? Okay, so it's it's got planes going in uh, three directions. Uh, we have axis mode. We got different axes. We have octagon mode. We have uh, hexagon, pentagon, triangle, a dome, uh, full cuboid. So it's just a, a cube, uh, cuboid, just the uh, corners, cylinder, and then back to sphere, which is what we want. And is it time for sleeping? I think so. So there we have an outline for, um, for our balloon. Well, this is for a sphere. Uh, we'll change the shape a bit, but uh, we can take a look at this. I think, I think the height actually looks pretty good. Uh, like, I like where it starts down there. That that seems like a good spot. If we go on here, we still have, like, quite a bit of uh, viewing angle, you know, from there to there. Uh, but it's in it's in sight, and it, uh, it's still kind of close. So that, that should work there. And I, I think the height of the balloon, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> uh, it could maybe go a little bit smaller, but we'll stick with that for now. So now with this thing, uh, what we can do is we have all these weird markings on uh, the front here. And honestly, I'm still figuring out exactly what they all do. I know that like these plus and minuses, it will basically increase the shape in that direction. So if we hit plus that way, it will increase the, the size one block that way. So that means we do plus that way, and now it's increased one block that way as well. I'm fairly certain. <laughs> It says changing size to minus 8, minus 8, minus 9, 8, 8, 9. So, uh, I don't know exactly what that means. <laughs> I don't know if that's... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know exactly, like, what that is referring to. But we can change this out. Let's do, like, 13 that way and do... Whoops, 13 that way. So let's do minus. And how does that look? Uh, so it's still very blobby. Yeah, I, I definitely think it could go um, down a bit. And it needs to, I think it needs to extend out some more. Would be good. So let's do, let's do like 16. There we go. Er, was that 16? No, that's 15. Minus 16. Okay, how is that for length from front to back? Like, that's a pretty good length. Uh, and let's make it skinnier. So if we do um, subtract that, subtract that, let's do down to like 6 minus 6. Come on, there we go. Uh, and then we also have to do it on this side. So actually, let's let's get another block just so we have not something to stand on. <clears throat> and then we want to squeeze it in 
sideways. Whoops. <laughs> There's a that's another feature of this that we'll get to in a sec. So let's do six or it goes out six blocks, I think is what that is. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, it needs to go lower though now. Uh, so one thing we can do with that, I think that's what these are for. These like smiley faces. Uh, I think those are arrows, so you can kind of adjust it downward. But maybe not. <clears throat> what if I do this? Okay, yeah, I don't know exactly what those do. But I know we can do, if we subtract 2 from the top and add 2 to the bottom, we should end up with the same shape. Uh, yeah, it still says total block count is 886. That's what we had before. Uh, so that should be right. Uh, it's just two blocks down farther. And that looks pretty good. Um, doo -doo -doo. I'm going to play around with this a bit more. All right. Well, I think this shape should do us pretty well. I think I like that. So let's see. Let's get rid of this block. That shouldn't be there. So now that we have the shape, uh, we have this enhanced building guide, which allows us to to do I think just one more thing than the uh, um, than the regular building guide does, and that is, if we take a block, we can right click on this, and there we go, it did happen. <laughs> there's a block down there, and we right click again, and there's another block, and we hold right click, and it starts building it for us. Mwahaha! <laughs> we have a slave working. Uh, a way at building this thing. This is still going to take a while though, isn't it? Although a lot less time than it would actually placing all these blocks on my own. Beautiful. This is so good. So I'm using cobble right now just because I have a lot of cobble. Uh, I'm kind of curious. Ooh, how many blocks stacks did I bring? I think I brought seven. So we've already used up one and a half. <laughs> this will be a good uh, measure for how many blocks I'm going to need. And I'm afraid I'm going to actually need a lot. Actually, it says, it does say on here, wow, 1,170 total block count. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, that's going to be a lot of blocks. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I wanted to do this whole outs or this whole balloon out of uh, actual balloon blocks, the Archimedes balloon blocks. Um... Although, is there really any other thing that'd be easier? Because uh, for a balloon, you need one wool and one string. Makes one balloon. Um, one thing that I know, it probably wouldn't be good. So let's go to chisel. I forget what they're called. There probably isn't any that would look real good. But uh, there's one block that's like easy to make a ton of. What about these laboratory blocks? Like, that one's pretty nice and smooth. Yeah, that's not too easy to make. Uh, which one is it? It's either factory block. I think it's a factory block. Let's just look up factory. Factory block. All right. Uh, yeah, there's not really any good ones in there. Never mind. These things are really easy to make because uh, that recipe gives you 32 blocks, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, those wouldn't really look good. So, I mean, we could use wool, which means we wouldn't have to use a string. <laughs> uh, but I think I'd rather use the string and just make it the balloons. We're going to need balloons in here anyways. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many balloons we're going to need, but, uh, yeah, we might, I think we might as well just make it out of balloons, which means I'm going to need a lot of of wool and string and we have our cobble balloon now obviously it's not gonna stay cobble as I said um, but with the uh, the wand of equal trade which is my favorite building tool by far uh, we can switch this out very easily once we get the balloons that we need uh, but building out a cobble will allow us to uh, um, I want to put some like bands around the balloons and um, have it attached down so we can kinda get that all figured out before we actually have the air balloons um, set up. So that's what I'm going to work on now. And there we go. Look at that beauty. Oh, yeah. So I used the uh, standard 
fences as ropes. Uh, we don't really have anything else that uh, would look better. So we got uh, some anchor points here. Go straight up there. Oh, I should change this. Should I? Or should I not? Yeah, I should probably change this. I wanted to use this uh, type of fence because it's kind of rounder. But uh, that type of fence looks like that. And that that's not going to look very good going all the way up. <laughs> uh, there's a little too many uh, um, bars in it. So we're going to do a standard fence. It's going to look the best, I believe. Or does look the best. There we go. So we'll change uh, all those back to normal. There we go. I'm not sure what texture I want to use yet. Uh, I actually, I kind of like this color. Um, I definitely want to do something lighter. Uh, I don't want to do spruce because we got lots of spruce in the boat. And uh, some spruce there in like the connectors with the the uh, slabs or the, the straps kind of going around the balloon. Um, so we want to do something lighter. Either like this or uh, maybe oak or... Um, birch or maybe yellow wood. I tried white wood, which doesn't look bad, but uh, I remember that this balloon is all going to be white, and so that wouldn't look very good. We want something that's going to contrast on the uh, balloon. So I was thinking, whoops, uh, we do have like yellow wood. This might look all right, kind of a yellower color. I don't know. I'll have to play around with that though. I might wait until I actually get the balloon up, though, to kind of figure that out. But I like it a lot. I like this thing so much. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, and then, oh, I also uh, I changed the back a little bit. I was, I was saying that uh, I didn't like... It wasn't very round in the back. So I changed that up, and I think it looks a lot better now has a little bit better shape this still looks this looks kind of weird now or maybe it looked weird before uh, like this upper deck part on the side I'm not sure what to do to fix that though unless maybe just putting windows in here would uh, fix that I don't know I'm not sure but I really <laughs> I really like the way that this turned out I like all the ropes we got lots of connections uh, and I, I made these like bigger and beefier where it connects so uh, we're tied down. Uh, now we need balloons. So let's go take a look at our uh, our wool stash. I know we don't have a lot. I have been trying to get more, <laughs> but uh, we need something better, I think. Um, I've been mostly just using cotton, uh, the Natura cotton, and turning that into wool. Uh, so I have I have some cotton over in our normal farm. Just grab the hang glider and glide over here. So I have this cotton over here that I've been picking every once in a while. Looks like it's not fully grown back yet. Um, and nine of these makes one wool, which is quite a bit of these. <laughs> so it's it takes a while. Let's see. Grab it. Grab it. Um, I've also set up a little automated system over here, but, uh, there's not too many of them, and I'm not sure if it's a good way to go. Uh, right back here, I've had this going for a little while, uh, and I've been taking them out, so there's not a ton in there. But, uh, it's still very slow. It's only three cotton plants, uh, and three autonomous activators. The only reason I did, I only did three because, uh, at the time... <laughs> I actually only had like three iron left, and each one of these took one iron to make. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on there. I think we're going to need something better, like maybe... Well, we'll uh, let's take a look in here and see what we have. So we got all of this string, and we have this wool. Let's put some wood away. So right now, this is what we got. We got a stack, a little over a stack of string and uh, 15 wool. And part of the problem is I've been using this for things. Like uh, up here, I put some carpet, so I, I used some string and wool on that. And um, I had to use a bunch of string for the bridges there, which I did make too wide now. 
Uh, that was a suggestion on the stream. Oh, by the way, I did say uh, that I would probably put up the uh, footage from the uh, from the live stream. Um, that's probably not going to happen uh, just because I was playing music, and so uh, I'm having some... If I put it up, I'm going to have some copyright issues with that. Uh, and it's just kind of more of a hassle than it's it seems to be worth. So uh, if you want to check it out, it should still be on my Twitch channel. A little VOD there. Um, but I'm just going to... Uh, I'm going to leave it, I guess. So uh, another option we have is we could make uh, the cotton grow faster. Uh, down here, Kamikaze has been setting up a little uh, little skeleton farm. Don't shoot me. It's not super safe at the moment. I guess that's what this is for. This is the AFK room. Because they can still shoot ya. But we can get some bones from here. Yes. Kill them. How many bones? Three bones. So we could uh, get some bones from here. We could even make a little automated setup uh, where we uh, just pipe out the bones, automatically craft them into uh, into bone meal, and then have it bone meal some cotton. And we could just AFK here for a while and see if we can get some stuff going. Well, I think I got something uh, real simple set up here, and I'm going to just put some blocks... Uh, why can't I put them? That's weird. I can't like put them right on top. Uh, I'm just gonna put some blocks up here to try and stop them from shooting at me as much. All right, and then let's take care of these torches that I put here just to stop them from spawning while I was working on stuff. And don't shoot me, please. <laughs> All right, it's pretty dark in there. Um, let's get rid of that torch too. It's a little scary hanging out here, but uh, we might be all right. So, spawn. Spawn, my minions. Well, while they're spawning, basically what happens is uh, we'll be getting bones in here. And then I have uh, an item filter that will pull the bones out, put them into this uh, liquid crafter. Then I have a little uh, comparator clock thing that runs when there's bones in here. That will make bone meal. That gets pulled out into here, and turn that into ignored, and that just starts bone mealing the cotton. And it looks like we're getting the cotton. Uh, it kind of looks like we're grabbing it, but it's going into here. So that should work. Uh, and in fact, I have some bones here. Let's just let's put them in here so that it gets to do all the work for itself. <laughs> Someone was killed by an electric fence. I think that happens when there's like a. Like, there's, um, Thaumcraft mobs that have certain names. Uh, usually when you kill them, it, it will say, uh, that, you know, this certain mob died. Uh, but with these electric fences, it doesn't say the name, it just says someone. Even for players, it won't say the person's name. It'll just say, someone was killed by an electric fence. So that's kind of interesting. Alright. So we are getting some cotton. I could pull this out, too, and make it into wool on uh, all by itself but that's uh that mean i'd have to set up another liquid crafter and all this stuff again uh so we'll just do that manually that's fine so i'm gonna afk here and maybe even block myself up just make sure that nothing comes and gets me like these guys <laughs> and uh we'll just hang out here for a while look at that beautiful airship I uh, was AFKing for a while, and we got quite a few balloons, like nine stacks of them. Still need a lot more, but, well, uh, sad times have fallen upon us. If we go over here, assemble ship, 2,049 blocks, and uh, we can't have a ship more than 2,048 blocks. And the worst part about it is that uh, if we take out like these blocks here... And we do it again. It still says 2049. Uh, the reason being, it's not counting all of this balloon. I'm not sure exactly how much of the balloon it's counting. Uh, because these are at diagonals, it's not actually attaching. We have to put like blocks kind of between the layers to make sure everything attaches. Uh, so, 
Yeah, we're gonna have problems. Like if we uh if we take off this balloon, we just cut all of these ropes. Take that, 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 and that. And then we go back up here. How many blocks do we have? Assemble. We got 641 blocks in the ship. Uh, and that thing was over a thousand blocks. Something like that. I don't remember exactly how much. It seems like we shouldn't have as many as it says we have. But uh, apparently we do. So, I'm gonna... <sighs> it really sucks. I love the way that this thing looks. But I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to make a smaller balloon or something, make it skinnier. I'll have to play around with it and make sure that we can actually do it. So the balloon is gonna have to be less than a thousand blocks for sure, because we have two thousand blocks to work with. That's six hundred and forty. So if we make that less than a thousand, we should, uh, ha we should be fine. I think. <laughs> I don't know. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed another episode on the Flight of the Owls server. This thing will fly. She will fly someday. Um, yes. And if you guys have any uh, name suggestions, I will gladly take them. We, we definitely need to christen our, christen our boat once, uh, once it's all done. But yeah, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye, peoples.